People ask you what this campaign is about. You tell them, yes, it's still about hope. It is still about change. But what sort of change have we really seen over the past four years of the Obama administration? So let's take a look back. time to stand for change. When you decide it's time for change to happen, guess what? Change happens. Change comes to America. There is, of course, another responsibility we have to our children. That's the responsibility to ensure that we do not pass on to them a debt they cannot pay. I pledge to cut the deficit in half by the end of my first term in office. All of us need to act more responsibly on behalf of a better economic future. Hope has been the guiding force behind the most improbable changes this country has ever made. We cannot wait for good jobs and living wages and pensions. We can Jobs must be our number one focus. We know it's time to create the good paying jobs and jobs that pay well and can't be outsourced. Instead of concentrating on job creation, President Obama has concentrated on growing government. We are making progress. I don't put people on food stamps. People become eligible for food stamps. If you want to create jobs, the, the quickest way to do it is to provide more funding for food it's stamps. It's an honor to be a food stamp president. More people have been put on food stamps by Barack Obama than any president in American history. We are becoming a society that makes poverty more comfortable. Now we need to pass a rescue plan for the middle class. A plan that will provide every family some immediate relief to cope with rising food and gas prices. We don't have a silver bullet when it comes to gas prices. Exxon's making $40 billion a year, and we're paying $350 for gas. We can't just drill our way to lower gas prices. The American people are demanding a solution to high gas You've prices. You've seen how quickly the price of gas is going up. If you complain about the price of gas and you're only getting eight miles a gallon, well, you definitely need a hybrid van. The then. price at the pump is painful, but the agony doesn't end there. Gasoline prices have gone up, food prices have gone Faced up. Faced with soaring shipping costs, food suppliers and manufacturers are raising prices. It must be catching on because in these last few weeks, everyone's talking about change. I'm thinking about the Americans who are losing jobs and homes and their life savings. Hardworking Americans who deserve to know that their efforts have resulted in a secure future, including a secure retirement. This recession has not only led to the loss of jobs, but also the loss of savings. Having too little in savings places in jeopardy so many dreams. So much of their hard-earned savings have disappeared. 23 million people out of work or stopped looking for work. More Americans are out of work. Inflation rising faster. Motorists already feeling pain. Working age Americans actively looking for a job is at the lowest level in 30 years. Prompting fear will see those long gas lines of the 70s. Pain at the checkout line shows no sign of letting Prices up. Prices for some of your everyday items shooting through the roof. Oil prices hit record highs. The debt continues to grow. And soaring interest payments on all this borrowing. It's slim pickings for other spending. That's the power of hope. That's the change we seek. That's the change you can stand for. A lot has happened in the last, coming up on four years. Yeah, uh, Chris White, great job uh, putting that together. No kidding. He remembered everything everybody said over the last three and a half, four years. Took a tremendous amount of that. research. Good job, Chris. Coming up.